Therefore, these are the four activities. Play, 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 learn, earn, learn, 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 earn, 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 and return, return, return. Therefore, my goal is to return everything what I have learned back to the society. Looking forward for that. So what does uh, high altitude medicine mean that you're involved in? Okay. This question has two sides of the coin to value. One is high altitude medicine. Mm -hmm. Then another is high altitude itself is a medicine. Mm -hmm. How so? I tell you. Okay. For anybody who is physically, emotionally, mentally, <laughs> physically sick, when they go to high altitude, they become all right. Mm -hmm. High altitude is undisturbed environment. What I and you require in life is only three things. One is good education, good health, peace of mind, nothing else. If you have a lot of money, if I have a lot of money, if I don't have health, if I don't have good knowledge. If I don't have peace of mind, what is the use? I suffer. Nature is the biggest university to give you us knowledge. Everything in nature, we don't know. We can learn. That's why, whether high altitude, low altitude, forest, mountains, when we go, we're an open university. No capitation, no donation, no degree, no diploma. We can learn from any age, at, in, at any age, from any page. Knowledge we get, wisdom we get. Nature is the place like a temple, worship of religious center, where when you go to a temple, you are worried about the shoes you have parked outside. But when you go to a mountain or a forest or a riverside, I tell you, we get peace of mind. Going to temple, we should get peace of mind. Nature gives us peace of mind. Third one, nature gives us health. Apart from knowledge, apart from peace, it gives knowledge. It gives health. You go to any forest, any mountain, you don't find sick people, sick animal. Everybody is healthy. I tell you, I am very comfortable, very healthy when I come to high altitude. Because no stress, no worry. I do not get diseases from what I eat, but I get diseases from what is eating me, worries. That worries are not there at high altitude. In high altitude is a wonderful place for anybody to be peaceful. Probably that is the reason why many yogis, sadhus went to high altitude to meditate and they remained very calm and peaceful. Mm. They were never agitated. People who are hypertensive, agitated are only in lowlands. Now, mountains itself is a healthy environment. Now, mountain itself is a medicine to many of us. Now, coming to mountain medicine, when we go to high altitude, low lander, we get into hypoxia, low oxygen. We get into hypothermia, low temperature. There could be a frostbite. There could be pulmonary edema. There could be cerebral edema. Because we are not used to that. We compete. We go with challenges, competition. We want to finish everything fast. We get into trouble. Then for such people, we need medicines. These medicines are either natural or chemicals. What is natural? At high altitude, what grows at high altitude, if we consume, then we remain safe. But if we carry what is not grown at high altitude and mm. start consuming, it is not nutritious. Uh, other than that, when people get into problem at high altitude, we have, if their oxygen level comes down, if their hemoglobin level goes up, then there are some medicines to compensate. Nobody died of chronic mountain sickness. On the other hand, people who are living at high altitude, like Ladakh, Altiplano in South America, they never had COVID. COVID incidence was very, very low. Whereas people in coastal area, people in other places had very high incidence of COVID. Why Nepal, Kathmandu had high level of COVID? Because a lot of people came here, carried COVID and distributed to everybody. You have to vaccinate everybody. But high, high altitude, that incidence was very, very low. This is one thing we should, we should notice. Because the vectors, the virus cannot survive at that temperature, mm -hmm. at that altitude. 
so it's not just a matter of not being contaminated by other people other they carry it's not, okay but still i mean like even if that were were the case i mean the environment itself won't let the virus sustain no they okay. have a high altitude okay incidence mosquito level is low mm. there are no mosquitoes yeah when i go to kumbu himalaya there are no mosquitoes where is vector where is malaria there are other problems i agree there are nutritional problem there are problems associated with the gastrointestinal thing at high to because of unhygienic condition that is there but one thing is very certain we have high altitude medicine centers at uh, lukla lukla is the place where there is a aircraft uh, flight lands and then after that there is a place called thangboche periche at periche the italians have created a uh, pyramid where truckers can go and get their system examined they for one lunch they can give some blood and mm. they examine and test it there are places where the high altitude medicine i i i tell you there's dr buddha basanyath here good friend of mine he has done enormous work at high altitude high altitude. people in a hurry goes to places like even muktinath take uh, their cold water uh, some uh, uh, bath and get into hypothermia some of them die also mm see uh, carelessness no, lack of knowledge the speedy ascent these are all the dangers at high altitude and uh, if such a thing happens we have to put them in gamo bag or hapo bag and increase the pressure bring them to sea level at that point only or bring them down to protect them otherwise they may get into a pulmonary edema cerebral edema they start warm coughing bled out and all this can happen therefore high altitude medicine is a upcoming discipline and it is a, a highly a beneficial to low landers going to high altitude high la- high landers like sherpas they have blunt nose blunt yeah. ears and barrel like chest they can get adapted to high altitude naturally i've heard a lot of my friends uh, say that when they are traveling to higher altitude they carry ginger i think if i'm ginger. not mistaken yeah is yeah. that is that a common yeah, yeah. thing i tell you some of these uh, natural antioxidants mm. turmeric ginger pepper some of these things protects them from uh, uh, many uh, ill effects of high altitude because they are low landers they are going to high altitude now there are some chemicals for example acetazolamide is called dimox before going to high altitude if person can take one dimox a day 3 days prior to going to mm-hmm. high altitude will not have problem okay so you can avoid that entirely pardon you can avoid that entire entirely yeah you can avoid okay. going slow mm. getting at adjust- but mm. if somebody wants to uh, you know not very sure about themselves they take this dimox as prophylactic it dimox isn't it that that's an excellent uh, uh, and also if beyond that there are other things like nifedipine calcium channel blocker then steroids are used at high altitude these are all medicines which are commonly used at high altitude i think we pretty much covered everything um anything you would like to uh, say to our viewers to us the end yeah i have only make you make you know all of us should make our life meaningful by doing something beyond what normally we do do something beyond what you are doing be adventurous be extraordinary and whatever you do should not only benefit you and whatever i do should not only benefit it should benefit the society in common then our life is meaningful we are sent here to help somebody we are we are sent here to make others life better nothing more